What's good YouTube? It's your boy Live Man. I'm back here with another legendary video. And in this video, we're going after a couple May Wings because I never want to hand feed another dino. This dino right here is so OP. I'm so glad that Ark put this dino in the game. Leave a comment right now if you're so happy about the main wing, man. Also, if we receive over 200 likes on this video, I will give away a main wing on a random server for you guys, man. So y'all smash up that like button, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bells. So when I do do the giveaway video, you're the first one to get the noti and give yourself the best chances to get the main wing. All right, so I'm flying around on my handy skiff, spy glassing every main wing that I can possibly see. And there's a lot of them out there. So you do have to take time to find yourself a good one. All right, I do set my standards kind of high as in a 135 minimum. And that's pretty much what we was aiming for. All right, so you guys can watch the whole video to see exactly what levels I ended up snatching up. But the grind was definitely fun, tedious, and it was well worth it, all right? Because using these May Wings to baby phase all your teams, especially teams like Gigas that just take all day, bro. It's just really incredible, man. All right, so I did get a 135 um, before I started to upload, I mean, the, um, the video. And it had decent stats. So all you really need is a little bit of narcs and make sure you find yourself a sheep. I didn't find the sheep after I knocked it out because I wanted a few of them, right? So you might as well get a few of them knocked out, a few of them sleep, and then you go after the sheeps. Yeah, that's sort of kind of rhyme, you know what I'm saying? Nah, but we, we really looking for, for 135 plus, and if we can find them, we want to snatch them up, bring them back, and tame them. All right, so I definitely appreciate all you guys for showing all the love on those videos lately and smashing those like buttons, man. The goal has been getting destroyed. All right, we got another 135 right here, snatching him up, bringing him back to base. And I don't know if you guys know, man, the tech bow is just absolutely amazing. Just having shards in your inventory and switching the tech bow to um, trank out tames is just so convenient you don't have to make darts and trank arrows anymore it's just so fun man i wish arc would have been did this but i'm grateful i'm not gonna complain so we're looking for a spot real quick to knock out this main wing and i do recommend not dropping the main wing on the ground and then knock it out I just leave it in the skiff hover above the skiff with your tech suit and give us some tranks, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna go straight to sleep in a couple shots and it shouldn't take much work at all, all right? So you definitely wanna aim for near the back of the main wing. I was shooting it in the front, but I've noticed that if you aim for the back, it will actually knock it out a lot faster. If you aim for the front, as you can see, nothing's really happening. I'm just wasting shards, so always aim for the back of the main wing if you hold it on the skiff now if you're not on the skiff you just probably have to chase this thing down and knock it out in the wild and that could be pretty annoying as soon as they see you and you try to touch it or anything it just flies away and it's like bro so let's just let's, let's knock this main wing out let's go hunting for a few more or even one more and see what we ended up for today but this 135 is definitely needed So I was pretty excited finding this 150 because I set my standards at a 135. So obviously if a 150 pops up, I'm definitely laughing 
and going straight to the bank. So we headed straight back to the UFO base with this 150. I'm looking at that green drop like, but nah, I ain't wanna play around, man. I just want to tame up this 150 so I can have three main wings to raise my baby gigas, all right? And once they, once the gigas is raised up to juvie, you already gotta put all the meat into the troughs where it's refrigerated, lasts longer, and raising gigas is just a joke now, all right? And it all begins with these main wings. So we pull them back up to the base. Let's put this to sleep. And then we on some sheep farming, man. Pretty simple. Gen 2 is OP. So is the main wing. Make sure y'all tame up these things. I want to see all you guys with main wings. If anybody's hand feeding dinos after this, you're playing art the wrong way. And we won't even waste time now because I told you guys shooting it in the back allows you to knock it out so much faster. Sheeps is all around in the city. You can find them real easy if you use your tech helmet. All right. And if you on an Evo event, it really doesn't matter. One sheep should tame you up on 150. May wing easy. All right. Because the two times on the um the mutton just has you speed speeding through the taming bar. All right. So let's tame this up. Let's crowd these up. And let's let's put a cap on the date. For successfully taming up some main wings. All right, I do need to breed up some dolphins and get my gigas raised. I still need reapers. There's so much stuff I do need. I got more resource videos I need to edit for you guys. But for the most part, we're, we're, we're doing very well on gen. I got to go back to extinction to still farm up some mechs for you guys and for myself because I'm kind of low on mechs. Um, that's what's crazy about Ark, man. Um, all the maps still matter. Doesn't matter how OP this map is, this map does not give us max. All right, so extinction is still needed. Um, this map don't give us a lot of metal like Ab, so Ab is still needed. Arc just has a, a crazy way of always keeping everything included. They did a great job with this map. You have to have a massive land base to really dominate it. So yeah, man. Good luck to all you guys that's on art. I got some more footage of setting up these main wings and getting all that going with the gigas. But let but man listen, this is this is so OP. I can't believe I got three main wings in like 30 minutes. Stay on your grind. We out. Back on Val, I got a nice batch of gigas, some 19.2s, you know what I'm saying? And I'm imprinting them right now. You know, there's two times. I don't know what's this copy setting to nearby dinos. Anybody know about that? Leave that in the comment section for me. That's something new. Um, but yeah, we getting 17% on these gigas. I didn't have to hand feed any of these things. I pretty much threw those three main wings out and did an army of gigas. I do recommend getting the main wings weight to like 800 so you can do berry berry tanks too but for the gigas they they don't eat that much meat if you can stack the main wing up real good and if you have two of them you can do two nice lines and get them through baby face easy i've really hand fed so many gigas in my time bro and to to not have to hand feed them ever again does feel amazing all right so these main wings are worth it. Make sure you get out there and tame them. Go after them. They are very easy. You can just find a, a sheep right next to them and have them do all the hard work for you. As soon as your, your stuff hits juvenile, just throw them out next to some full troughs of meat and forget about them, all right? 17% on the imprint. So we are really laughing out here, man. I really appreciate all you guys that have been supporting the channel. I got more bangers coming. 
I got more resource videos coming. Hopefully, we got some PvP coming, but the PvE is going crazy right now. So, we out here doing what we're doing. We got gigas. We ready for war on both ends of the spectrum. I do have to raise some gigas on Gen 2 as well because you just never know. Plus, an uh, army, an absolute army of whales. Hopefully, I can bring you guys that footage. And if you guys don't know, there's a crazy OP plant in this game. Shout out to all my subscribers. Hit that subscribe button. Drop a like on the video. It's your boy live. And I'm gone, man.